the biggest mistake is that people don't rise and take on that role because it's big and it's scary and people are watching us. And what if we fail? Then people will know. Who cares? Fuck it. Get into the leadership role. Be the one that eats better. Be the one that goes to the gym and works out no matter what. Be the one that shows up and walks. Be the one that says positive things, not negative things. Be the one that says all of like the good things going on and not getting on the dark train and talking about all the bad things. Be the one to change. No one else is doing it. You're the only one. You're the lone wolf. Awesome. Okay. Then that means you start creating change. What's up, everyone? If you're looking to be inspired, motivated, educated, and entertained, you have come to the right place. Welcome to the Bob Mom Podcast, the podcast where we explore your fitness, life mindsets, and actions that help you become unstoppable. You're worth it, and it's time to finally make changes in your life that will last you the rest of your life. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Bomb Mom Podcast. I am Melissa Vogel, your host. Welcome to the show. Welcome to our first episode of 2024. Oh my God. Can you believe like just the amount of numbers in that year? 2024. Wow. And just adding to the wow, we just celebrated our two hundredth episode, which I still can't even believe. I'm just like in shock. And that leads me to thanking you guys because this podcast is not possible with out all of you. (laughs) If no one's listening to it, then there's no point of having a podcast. So, so grateful for all of the love and support over the last couple years. I mean, just 200. I can't believe that I have interviewed people, spoke on this mic 200 times. Like, it's just nuts. It's insane. Actually, it's been over 200 because there's always a few episodes that get recorded and then we don't air them. And I'm like, no, (laughs) especially in the beginning, because it's such a learning curve and you don't know what the heck you're doing, at least for me. I didn't know what the heck I was doing in the podcast space. I was like, I have a message and I want to help people. Give me a mic. That's kind of (laughs) how I fell into it. But I'm just, it's just, I don't know. It's humbling. It's scary as fuck. I'm not going to lie. It's scary because once you hit a milestone, you're like, oh my God, can I keep this going? Or should we just stop? You know, like we hit a good spot. Should we just end it? It brings up a lot of feelings and emotions and stuff. And it's, it really does. I mean, yes, I'm super excited about it all, but at the same time, it's like scary. And 2024, we have a choice of how we look at that too, right? We can look at it as, oh my God, I don't know what this year is going to hold. This seems really scary. Or we can look at it and we can say the exact same thing and be like, oh my God, I don't know what this year is going to hold. It's kind of scary, but I'm excited. You see how you say the same exact thing with the same situation and year? It's just how you put it. It's how you say it to yourself. And that's what I'm going to tell myself about this podcast and business and life and relationships and moving forward is that I don't know what the future is going to hold. And I think that's exciting. I think it's cool. I'm just going to take it one day at a time. And I hope all of you do the same thing with me. We're going to take it one episode at a time. And pretty soon, you guys, we're going to blink and I'm going to have 300 bomb mom podcast episodes underneath my belt, which I just absolutely love. So thank you guys. And... As always, I really appreciate you guys rating and reviewing this podcast. I've said it the last few episodes and you guys have been doing it more and it shows and it helps. So thank you for doing that. Really appreciate it. This episode isn't going to be very long. I know I've said that before in the past and then it was like a long one, but I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. I know it's a very busy time. I appreciate you guys even just listening right now. But this episode, we're going to dive into some mistakes because I want you to have a productive year of 2024. I want you to have a year that it's like no other. Like, I want you guys to have this year be the year that you actually take steps in the right direction and you move forward. I want this to be the year that you look back on and be like, 2024 was it. And that means we have to look at how we failed in the past. What mistakes have we made? And then repurpose that. That's one of the things I'll talk about in just a minute here. But we have to look at building a resilient mindset, right? We have to learn how to like cultivate that like positive attitude because then 
when you do make mistakes, when you do have setbacks and failures, you have that practice in turning it around. And then that failure, it's like, okay, yeah, that totally sucked. I like did that like completely wrong. Like what the hell happened over the month or week or what, however long it was, year. I want you to be able to look at that and go, okay, but this was necessary. This was absolutely necessary for me to go through. So I don't do it again. I can learn from it. And this is what's going to push me forward. You cannot hit your goals. You cannot hit the top. You cannot make millions of dollars. You cannot have a successful relationship unless you go through the yucky, gross, disgusting stuff that we're like embarrassed of. And we're like, what was I even thinking? You can't hit the top without them. You can't. That pressure, that learning, it's so important. So let's dive into some of these mistakes that people make. Some of them I've mentioned before on other episodes, and I don't think we can hear them enough. I don't think that we can hear the message of, hey, remember to do this. Hey, remember to do this. Hey, remember to get up and walk. Hey, remember to eat (laughs) more protein. Like we can't hear it enough. We live in too much of a fast paced world and we're just dealing with so much that the basic messages we need to hear over and over again and be reminded. So that is my goal with this episode today. I want you guys to have something to be like, okay, that's right. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, I'm so glad that she reminded of this and all of that, okay? Before I dive into our mistakes too, I want to let you guys know that with it being a brand new year, 2024, we are going to have a brand new free Reignite Yourself Bootcamp. It's a five-day training and it's free. We start January 16th. January 16th is the day I do the big welcome call. January 17th, 18th, 19th, and then 20. Second <laughs> are the four training days. Get into this boot camp because everything that I talk about in this episode about mistakes and all of that, like, trust me, you're going to hear all of these things. You're going to hear, like, okay, I got to avoid that. I'm going to learn from this. But you're going to want it, a space and an area to be able to apply what you learn and have the help to avoid these mistakes so you get going in the right direction in 2024. The free Reconnect Yourself Boot Camp. It's going to do just that. It's going to give you a platform to like, think of it as like a springboard. You're going to like jump on it and then like, boom, just shoot off into your fitness journey with that platform to be like, okay, I got this. Join. It's January 16th. First day is our welcome call. Then I do five free days of training. We run it off of my free Facebook group, Fit for Life with Melissa Vogel. We're going to run it in there. It's my first time running it in there. Get in. We're going to do free workouts. You guys are going to do booty workouts with me. You're going to do ab workouts with me. And then the trainings will be live at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you can't make it, remember, everything's recorded. And we will keep track of who's participating, like who's commenting, who was on the live, who's doing all that, because I do a massive bomb mom basket giveaway at the end. We do like a contest. Well, it's kind of a contest. (laughs) It's not really a contest. It's more like you show up, you get points. The more you have, the more your name gets put into the drawing, and then you win this sucker. It's like incredible. And every Everyone who wins it is like, holy crap. Some of our top sponsors are in there. Swag is in there. Recipe book, workout equipment, like you name it, it is in this mother load basket. So we make it fun and we're going to do giveaways and stuff. And it's not a boot camp as in like, hey, we're all going to show up at this location in LA. No, 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 no. We're all going to show up in this Facebook group. You can be live with me or you can watch it later and you're going to fucking learn and get that fire reignited deep in your soul again so you take action and you don't keep doing the same mistakes over and over and over again. Did I get that clear? <laughs> We're also going to have some current bomb moms in that boot camp that are just going to be there to help you and motivate you and inspire you. Oh my God, you're so lucky to have them in there. So they will be in there too. And it's awesome. So get into it. I'm going to put the link in the show notes, wwwbusy bombfitmomcom and then forward slash boot camp. Go in there, put your name and your email, and then it'll take you to the link to get into Fit for Life with Melissa Vogel into that free Facebook group. Trust me, you want to be in that free Facebook group. Anyways, if you scroll back, you're going to find lives and Q&As and things that I've done in there. So it's a cool group to be in. Okay, now let's move forward with these mistakes so you can be ready to do this boot camp. You're going to know what not to do. You're going to know what to do. (laughs) And then hopefully we work together and I can help you like apply it all and like implement it into your life, right? Okay, so let's go into like mindset. Okay, one, as you guys know, I'm big on mindset. 
you know that mindset matters big time. And talking about the mind and like moving forward on this journey, one of the big, big mistakes that people make, I still make it, you guys. I see my clients doing it all the time. That's why we're talking about it and like bringing it up again, is that we fall into this all or nothing attitude or like this all or nothing mentality. I guess mentality sounds a little bit nicer than attitude. And we think like, I don't have an hour to dedicate to the gym today. There's no way I can fit it all in. I can't do it. So I'll just do it tomorrow right? I can't do it all. So what's the point? And I'm telling you, that is the biggest mistake you can make when it comes to your fitness journey, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to parenting. So remember all of this, yes, I talk about health and wellness and all that cool stuff. But remember, all of this can be applied to all areas of your life. So when you have this all or nothing attitude when it comes to your relationship, like, oh, I can't do this for her, so I'm not going to do anything. And I'm like, no, actually, if you just do the dishes in the sink and you don't have time to do all the dishes on the counter too, plus the dishwasher, I'm telling you, you doing the dishes in the sink matters, okay? It's a really big deal. Or if like, oh, I can't make his whole lunch today, so I'm just not going to do it. Girl, I'm telling you, if you just like make his coffee or like set out a snack for him or like fill his water, like those things matter. See how I'm taking it into like other areas of your life? When we can learn to let go of this all or nothing mentality, you will grow. The all or nothing mentality, it really does stick you in this box and you're just limited. You have four walls around you, probably a ceiling on top. You can't get out and you're stuck. You have to let that go. And I have done recently a podcast on like walking and the benefits of walking. I will push that to you guys till the day I die of how important walking is. And if you can't get to the gym, if you can't work out, walk. If you can't do that, get on the floor and do 10 crunches, 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 squats. Boom. Do something because it does matter, especially with working out. When you just move your body and you make mind-body connections, it produces different chemicals and endorphins in your brain, which I will talk about that in a minute too. Those tiny little hits, even if it's just from laying on the ground and going into a down dog position, you know, and, and stretching or just doing some squats and moving, Those, think of it, just little drop, little drop of like feel good. You're not getting the full rush of everything, but they're little drops of feel goods. And those little drops of feel goods add up. And that can make the difference between having a really crappy dinner or having a good dinner, between starting a fight with your kids and having more patience or not, between lashing out at those that you love or not. So that's why you can't keep this all or nothing mentality anymore. It's a big, big mistake people make in the fitness industry. And I'm telling you, going to the gym for 20 minutes, it's still something, it still matters, and it helps. Also, you guys, putting in just little reps, right? I talk about putting in the reps all the time. We put in the I don't feel like it rep in Bob Mom when we don't feel like doing something, but we do it anyways. We're like, I put in an I don't feel like it rep. Those reps showing up, even if it's just getting in your car, going for 20 minutes, driving home, it might think and feel stupid and like a waste. It's not. It's also putting in the practice of I do this. I'm a badass. This is just what I do. This is just how I live, even though it doesn't make the most sense right now, even though it might not make sense to others. It seems ridiculous. You're putting in the rep of like, this is just what I do. This is who I am. This is how I show up. Let go of the all or nothing mentality. It's huge. The other one is just this misconception that perfection is the only path to success. It's not true. And it goes hand in hand with the all or nothing. Your path to success, let's say your path to success on 2024, that path that you are on, it can't be perfect. It won't be perfect. You have to let that go. And again, This can be applied to relationships and life and parenting, and it can also be applied to your health and fitness journey. So just let everything come to your brain. As I'm talking about this, be open to like, being like, okay, I could apply that here. She's right. I do this here in this area. Just be open to everything. Be coachable right now as you're listening to a podcast. But that perfection, okay, it doesn't exist. If you are looking for that perfectly flat stomach or these perfectly sculpted legs that don't touch in the middle or the booty or your love handles or anything, your hair, like let go of perfection because it doesn't exist. And you know what? It doesn't help that we live in a filtered world. How filtered are we? Seriously, it doesn't help. You have to learn to let that go 
and love and accept the ugly. Learn to love and accept the, here's an example. I can grab my stomach, right? I can like grab the skin on my stomach and like stretch it out. Everyone can. It's called freaking skin, okay? But if I'm standing in front of a camera and I'm posed sideways and my shoulders are turned one way, my hips are the other way, I look very long and lean and like you couldn't even grab anything on my stomach. No, that's just a good pose, you guys. That's just a good pose. The problem is, it's still me, right? But the problem is, is that we always put ourselves in these positions where we see the perfect pose and then we're like, that's what a female body looks like. And then we see things on magazines and on social media and we see like the cinched waist and the boobs up to our chin and we're like, yeah, that's what I need to look like. And then we look at ourselves and we're like, I don't look like that. And then we're like, I'm never going to get to there. And then we give up because we're not perfect, let it go. To hitting your goals, your journey to success, it is not perfect, it never will be, and the more you try and hold on to that and to make it look perfect, to make yourself perfect, you are just going to set yourself back over and over and again, and you're gonna be on the hamster wheel running forward and forward. Your workouts, you will have some that are amazing, where you're like, damn, that was a killer workout, I'm sore, that felt so good, I was sweating, and then especially for us ladies, when we're working like around our cycle and we're doing the best we can, you're gonna have crappy workouts. You're gonna be like, oh my God, that was so frustrating. I just felt like I couldn't, I don't know, start, I couldn't sweat. I've had those workouts where I'm just like, I'm just doing everything and I just like, I can't get my heart rate up. I just can't get my body sweating. Or like, God, what's wrong with me? I just can't squat deep enough. Like what's wrong with my knees? Or last week I was doing this and this week I'm doing this. I'm telling you, our cycle plays a major role in that and we're doing the best our can, we can, but like there's so many things that play a role in it and you just have to let it go that every workout is just going to be amazing. It's not, it's not. Learning to love the ugly workouts and that, hey, I could not get my head wrapped around this workout. I felt like a robot just going through it, but I did it and I showed up. Okay, I'm gonna move forward. That, that my friends is what's going to help you hit the top. Instead of, I feel like crap today. I can't do anything. I'm just going to give up. I'm not even going to show up. Mm -mm. You're putting a rep into being the old you, not towards the new you. Let go of the perfect, okay? Now, ways that we can help, right? Let go of the all or nothing. Let go of the perfection. When you are feeling these feelings, okay? This is probably like the best piece of advice that I can give you. I call it TFR. And no, the F is not a swear word. (laughs) But when you are feeling this like, oh, what's the point? Or this is not good. I can't, oh my God, what's happening? And and you feel yourself tearing yourself down in front of a mirror. Or you're just like, why? What is wrong with me? And you start feeling the feelings, right? And the emotions that you know are sabotaging. They're not healthy. They're not good. This is what I want you to do. TFR. I want you to think. T, think. I want you to stop and think. Is what I'm saying right now true? Am I all up in my feelings? or am I all up in facts? Think, just stop and th- just think. Give yourself a minute. And if you're all up in the feelings, start taking them out, okay? Start taking them out. Then the F, it's not fuck, <laughs> you're gonna go into feel. So first I started with thinking. I'm just gonna think, okay, what am I feeling? Are these facts? What's happening? Just breathe, what's the truth here? Then we're gonna go into feel. What do you feel right now, okay? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling down? Are you feeling worried? Are you feeling scared? Feel it, feel it, okay? Why are we feeling these things? And then you can go back to the think. Well, because I was all up in this this feeling. This is overwhelming. I feel like the world's crashing in on me. That's what's leading me to feel this way. But is it true? No, okay? Thinking and feeling and just taking that fucking pause. Just that moment of like, okay, let's think this through. Okay. Okay. Now let's feel this through. Let's feel it. Okay. Got it. Now I'm going to respond. Now you can respond. Now you can take a look at what's going on around you. Where are your thoughts? Where are your feelings? And now the R, now you can respond. Okay. And that response, like maybe you're in your car and you're driving home and you're so overwhelmed and you don't even want to go in and everything yelling at you and the kids finally get out and close the door and you're in there and you're like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to think. Melissa said, TFR, I'm going to think right now. I'm just going to think. Where am I at? What is going on? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Now I'm going to feel. Okay. I'm feeling so mad. Get it out. Say it. Talk about it. Hell yeah. Today's episode is brought to you by LifeWave. 
I can't believe I haven't heard of LifeWave sooner, but I am so glad that I did when a friend introduced me to them because LifeWave and these little stem cell patches have been life changing. Oh yes, you heard that correct. They are little patches that you place on your body that activate the stem cells in your body, resetting them to a younger state and it uses light therapy. I'm not kidding you. I know it sounds crazy. It's not stem cells from anything else. It's helping your own stem cells in your body wake up and get reset. So there's an X39. I wear it on the back of my neck every single day. There's an X49. It's better for like athletes and muscle growth and building. So I put that one on. I put it just below my belly button. There's one called an Eon patch. That's amazing for inflammation, anxiety, sore muscles. These patches have drastically changed my life. And if they haven't, I would not be sharing them with you guys today. When you put them on, they start activating copper peptides in your body. Each patch has a different job. I can't believe how different my skin looks just from using these. They're incredible. If you guys want more information, you have a couple options. Message me on Instagram. It's Melissa Vogel. I get people on there all the time asking me questions about LifeWave, and you'll probably see me on a reel or a photo with them on my body. You can also email me at info at melissavogelfitness.com or you can go to www.lifewave.com forward slash bomb mom. There's a ton of really good information on there and you can learn more, ask questions. I'm happy to share all of the patches that I'm using, but I'm here to change your life in all the ways possible. And LifeWave has done that for me. Okay. Now I'm going to respond. I'm going to get out of the car. I'm going to go inside. I took my pause and I'm going to respond in a better way. I'm going to respond in a way that makes more sense for the situation because responding and like just going in and screaming at everyone or throwing things around or, you know, being super emotional about something, it's not going to help. This is how you can start developing a resilient mindset. This is how you can start cultivating a positive mindset because you're giving yourself that pause. We've talked about the pause a lot on this podcast, and it's probably time to bring it up again. Having that pause and TFR, think, feel, respond. Just think, just feel it, then respond. Dude, you are going to turn around every single failure, all of those anxious moments, and the more times you do this and you practice and you practice and you practice, oh my God you are going to turn moments that would have been just like super critical and probably make and break a lot of things into crucial moments that were for growth. They were crucial for growth. Okay. Let's talk about weight training. Okay. Let's talk about actual working out stuff, health. Okay. Our body movement, because there's a lot of mistakes that people make when it comes to weight training. A lot of women, number one, they avoid weight training because they're so afraid of bulking up. It's still a thing. It's still talked about. It's still a fear. I had someone say something to me. I'm not kidding you two weeks ago. Aren't you afraid? This woman came up to me. God bless her. Aren't you afraid that you're going to get bigger? (laughs) I like looked at her and I'm like, I'm not afraid. Afraid isn't the right word. I'm hoping I do. And it looked like she just was looking at me like I just grew four heads out of my shoulders. And she was just like, you're hoping to. I'm like, yeah. And she's she's super nice. This is someone at the gym that I see a lot. And she's like, oh my God, you look so good. And, da, 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 da. and Or she's like, how are you today? And you know, what's what's the latest episode on the Bob Mom Pocket? Like she's super nice. And so this is why she probably felt comfortable to come up to me. And she comes up to me and she's like, aren't you afraid of getting big? I'm not. I don't produce the right hormones and chemicals in my body to bulk up and get big. If you see someone who does look like that, know that they are putting a significant amount of time and energy into their lifting, their sessions, their creatine, their, um, I don't know, maybe juicing a little. Uh, It depends. It depends on their physique. You know, it depends on what they want and what they're after. But knowing the average female that's in the gym working out and lifting weights is going to look phenomenal, not like a man. Okay, so let go of that. You want to hit the weights. The benefits of weight training, you guys, they are endless. And I think going into January, into this new year, and really striving for new results. I'm not going to say a new you. I'm going to say a new result. You need to know the benefits of weight training. One, it builds lean muscle mass. You guys, muscle tissue burns more calories than fat tissue. So when this lady comes up to me and she's like, aren't you afraid you're going to get big? Yes, ma'am. The muscle tissue, you mean? That's like underneath my skin, the muscle, that tissue. Yeah, I want that bigger. 
because it burns more calories than fat tissue. It also is going to help my metabolism and that's going to increase. Think about all of this. And this contributes to more effective calorie burning, even when you're just at rest and you're not working out. So the more muscle I have on my body, I am burning more calories even if I'm at rest. And if you have a desk job, listen up. If you sit a lot during the day, listen up. You need to get up and go lift weights. So while you're sitting at your desk, you are still burning calories. You want to have more muscle tissue than fat tissue. The benefits are endless and people forget that. We really, really forget that and how important that is for, yes, like physique and how you look and all the stuff like, yeah, that's like amazing, great. But also we forget that it's going to help you when you're resting, when you're sleeping, when you're sitting watching TV. We can't be go, go, go all the time. We will sit and rest and we'll talk about rest and recovery and how important that is too. But those down times that we're going to have, you want to have more muscle for them. Weight train. Pick up heavy shit and put it down. It also, weight training also helps promote fat loss while at the same time, simultaneously increasing muscle mass. So when you weight train, you're dropping fat and you're increasing muscle mass. It's it's doing it at the exact same time, okay? So it's promoting that fat to be gone and it's promoting the muscle to build. And a lot of people, one of the biggest misconceptions that a lot of women make is that they think, well, if I'm gonna lift weights, my legs are just gonna get bigger. I already have big thighs. So if I lift weights, then my muscle underneath my fat is just going to grow. And then I'm gonna have big muscle under there and big fat on top. And then I'm just gonna be even bigger. It's not true, okay? Weight training will help the fat loss and your body composition. It's going to help the fat go down while increasing the muscle up, which is going to change the whole shape and dynamic of of your thigh or your leg or like your arms, whatever we're talking about, okay? This one, I want you all to write down, remember forever and ever and ever, because you will forget it. People forget how important it is. Bone density. Bone density will improve with weight training. Weight bearing exercises, okay, and weight training, it places stress like on the bones. Think about it. If you're holding extra weight on your body, it's putting more stress on your bones in a good way because that promotes the production of new bone tissue. And this is crucial for maintaining and improving bone density. As we age, that decreases. And it really helps reduce the risk of osteoporosis. We actually did a podcast a little while ago on osteoporosis. And one of the number one things that you can do to help promote and improve the bone density is weight train. Now, here's the thing. People don't think about this. It's not sexy. It's not glamorous. People aren't going around thinking about bone density. They're thinking about how do I have flat abs, a big ass, and chiseled upper body, right? Trust me, one day you will care about your bone density and osteoporosis. But right now, it's super hard to think about that, right? Like, I mean, sometimes we can't even think about what we're doing in two hours, let alone 20 years from now and worrying about our bone density. So just know that by trying to get the flat stomach, rip shoulders, like, booty, all the things, you are still setting yourself up for success later in life and ha- going. you're going to have that bone density that you need. So there's, again, multiple benefits. And when you are doing weight training, okay, this is the other one that I wanted to touch on really quick. It's that you're improving your mental health 110%. We touched on this already a little bit, but, and I I talked about the little drip, like the happy drips. When you are engaging in weight training, your body is releasing endorphins. It's the body's natural mood elevators. Sounds like I said elevator as in like an elevator that goes up and down. Elevator, like elevates you. (laughs) This can reduce stress. It reduces anxiety and symptoms of depression. And it just contributes to overall mental well-being. Like everything, all of it. Here's the thing. I wanted to share this with you guys. So you'll see this on my social media if you haven't yet. More and more and I'll be sharing more and stuff. I had my face... I always say this, my face burned off. I had my face burned off like before Christmas. I did a major, it's like a CO2 laser, like resurfacing thing. It's insane. Like I look completely burnt, like swollen, puffy. And then I just watch my face like rejuvenate and heal. It's so crazy. And it produced collagen elastin. And like, it's it's really, really good. It's amazing. And I did it. And you have to take downtime and stuff. During this downtime, you guys, I can't work out. I can't sweat. I can't go outside in the sun. I can walk, but I have to walk at night then when the sun's down. And 
I can't really do anything. I couldn't really do yoga. I couldn't really stretch because my face couldn't be down. I could sit up and stretch a little bit, which I did. But as soon as I would increase the heat in my body, my face, oh my God, you'll feel it. It just tingles and stuff. So I really couldn't do anything. I am just bringing this up and sharing this with you guys because I want you to know that like, I totally get it. I told my bomb moms this the other week. I get it and I can totally see how people get sucked into, oh, I just didn't fit it in today. Oh, I, you know, I was going to work out. I packed my bag and then it didn't happen. And they're skipping all of those endorphins. They're skipping your body's natural way of like boosting your mood. And then stress is there and anxiety and depression. And then that, those are a lot. Those kind of take over. And then you're like really fighting an uphill battle. And I could feel that just in a couple days. I'm like, wow, just sitting here really doing like nothing. I mean, I work, but I'm just like sitting, you know, all of that. I'm like, I get it. I can see how people would get sucked under. And then I'd, I'd go for a walk at night and that would help and stuff. And then I just, I had to get through the couple days of like healing and stuff and doing nothing and especially not sweating, but I get it. And I'm here to tell you guys, show up for yourself. That's one of the other biggest mistakes that people forget is they stop showing up for them. It has to be a daily thing. You can't show up for yourself two times a month, once a week. You can't show up for yourself two times a week. Minimum three, you have to show up for you physically. And yes, I'm talking when I say show up, I'm talking workouts. I am. I'm talking about workouts. You have to show up for you every day in some way. If you don't, you are just digging a deeper and a deeper and a deeper hole and it's making it harder and harder to get out and then you're going to come home and you're like oh my god my anxiety is just through the roof and if I was there with you and I was living there I'd look at you and be like well what did you do today to show up for you what did you do today I ask my clients that all the time what did you do today well nothing or oh I couldn't fit it in yet okay then this makes sense then why you feel this way right let's do something then to help you move in the right direction so we don't repeat this over and over again so keep showing up. I mean, the better sleep, the your boost in confidence, your joint health. Oh my God, just, just the joint health of, alone and how you can reduce the risk of like just overall joint injuries. I mean, it's endless with weight training. So back to the mistake of people don't, especially women, they're afraid of like bulking up. It's huge. It's huge. And you don't need to do it. Okay. One of the other big mistakes that people make, it's very, very common is they go at it alone. You guys have heard me talk about this before. And I just wanted to end on this really quick. People will go at their fitness journey alone. You've heard me say this before and how important the right coach is, the right group of people, the right environment. And people will try to, I just need to go to a gym and get a gym membership and start taking these classes, you know, because then I'll have people around me and then I have to go because I'm paying for it. And then, you know, like my friend goes, so then I'll go. Huge mistake, huge mistake. Because you're still there alone, right? There's an instructor leading you, awesome. And other people are in their own zone and it's you. You're here. You have to physically move and do all the stuff. Great. What happens when you leave? What happens when you leave? Is your husband on track with fitness? Awesome if he is. He shouldn't be the one pushing and training you. That's a whole nother episode. But when you get stuck or when you're sad or when you're down or when you don't feel like going to that gym that you're paying for, who's there to push you? Okay. I can't stress enough the importance of finding the right environment of people that are on the same page as you when it comes to what we're eating, what we're focusing on, how we're working out, how we're speaking to ourselves. And this is difficult. If your environment is not like that, and I have women all the time that come to the group and they struggle with this. And they're like, this is really hard because my husband's not on board with this. My friends all drink. My family's not on board with this. You know, and I'm trying to show my kids, but like when I look around, I'm really alone. I'm totally alone on this and it sucks. And you know what they do? You know what the biggest mistake is? They give up, they collapse. They fall basically like they fall to the level of their environment. Huge mistake, but I get it. I totally see how that can happen. I've been there before. We are a product of our environment. We are the sum of the five people that we engage with and interact with most. And when no one else around you is on the same page and wavelength, it's tough. It's hard. But here's my plug. Bomb moms 
we don't live by each other, okay? Many of us don't. I have a couple people around me and stuff, but we're all over. But we come together with technology and tools and groups and Facebook and all the stupid things and our phones. That is our environment. Find people, whether it's with Bomb Mom. Of course, I would love all of you moms listening to be in Bomb Mom and to fully experience it. Fully experience it. And I say that because we have people come in that don't fully experience it. They come in and they'll be like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then they don't talk with their big sister. They don't interact with me or the group. And then they're like, well, you know, I don't know. It's just really tough. And they don't experience it. Then we have the people that come in and they're like, give me it all. I want the help. I want the love. I'm going to post. I'm going to be here. And their life changes. And you can tell. And you're like, yeah, she does it all. It's very, very clear to the people that jump in and engage and the people that jump in and they're like, uh, I mean, I'm going to do some, you know, I'm going to do some. So obviously I'd love you guys to be bomb moms if you can, duh. But if you can't know that if you have a shitty environment and I just described your environment to a T when I was like, no one's on board, you feel alone, then you're just like everyone else. I am going to encourage you right now and motivate you to be the leader. Every group needs a leader. If your environment is like that, okay, that's what it is. Clearly it's not going to change on its own. It's just going to keep happening right? Because generations follow generations and and we just pass on different things. You be the one to rise. The biggest mistake is that people don't rise and take on that role because it's big and it's scary and people are watching us. And what if we fail? Then people will know. Who cares? Fuck it. Get into the leadership role. Be the one that eats better. Be the one that goes to the gym and works out no matter what. Be the one that shows up and walks. Be the one that says positive things, not negative things. Be the one that says all of like the good things going on and not getting on the dark train and talking about all the bad things. Be the one to change. No one else is doing it. You're the only one. You're the lone wolf. Awesome. Okay then that means you start creating change. Because guess what? Chances are people will come on board. They will. They will jump on board. I promise you. They will get on with you. It'll just take a really long time. Weeks, months, maybe years. And that's okay. So just think about all of this. Put it in the back of your brain. All of these mistakes. The all or nothing. The perfection. Not taking the time to think, feel, and respond. Skipping that weight training session. Not engaging in the right environment. Like, I'm not just talking about the gym. I'm talking about like Sunday afternoon. Who can you turn to to help you? You know, when you're having a really hard day, who can you turn to to pull you up? Because the gym's not going to give you that. It's not. Even your personal trainer. Their job is to kick your ass for whatever amount of time that you pay them for. And that's it. That's it. That's that's their job. It's not their job on a Friday night or Sunday or Saturday or Monday afternoon or Tuesday evening. Like, bomb moms do that. Bomb moms pull each other out. We surround you. We become your environment. So tuck all that away, all of this. Don't forget all the benefits of weightlifting. Get into it, get a plan in place. And you guys, like seriously, if you're like, okay, I'm sold. I really wanna start weightlifting, but I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to get into this. You guys, contact me, reach out. Maybe Bob Mom isn't for you, but maybe you can get on the app program. There's always a way. There's always a way, I promise you, okay? Oh my God, that was a lot of information and it wasn't short. (laughs) I'm like, I'm going to come on for 20 minutes. No, bullshit. But when I get going and like, I just feel like that there's a message and I want to help you guys, then I want to keep going. So thanks for listening, you guys. Check out the show notes, get into the boot camp. Keep sending emails, messages if you have them, info at melissavogelfitness.com or follow me on Instagram. It's Melissa Vogel. I'm here to help you guys. And let's take advantage of a new year, a new start. Let's, now we know some mistakes to avoid. Let's just avoid them. And let's take back control. Let's reignite that fire inside. Everyone stay safe, stay healthy. Until next time. Bye, everyone. This podcast is designed to provide accurate and authoritative information in regards to the subject matter covered. This is given with the understanding that neither the host, practice of the practice, or the guest are providing legal, mental health, nutritional, or other professional information. If you need a professional, you should find one.